not get closer to the preacher because the preacher has an expiration date. But God was there in the beginning. He's here now. And he'll be there forever because there's no end with God. And if you know that, clap your hands and give God a hand. Now I'm not going to be before you no longer than the Holy Spirit allow me to be. I'm not a preacher that trying to fix it. Because I learned that if the preacher fixes it, it's going to break again. Let God fix it for you. So when God speak, I'll speak. When God stops speaking, I'll take my seat. I'm going to ask that you will, those of you that have your Bible, came out to hear a word from God. I'm going to ask you to stand on your feet, open your Bible to the book of Esther. Amen. I will be going the way that the Lord is leading me. No form and no fashion. Nothing but the word of God. Amen. Let me know, church, when we're there. Esther, the fourth chapter. I will begin reading at the 14th verse. And you will find these words has been recorded. And I'm glad to see Sister Nessie with her pen and pad because as God give me the scriptures, I will give them to you. I don't write them down and bring them up here. I can only... Rely on God to give them to me. Bring them back to my remembrance. And he will give me those that I need to remember. And I will give them to the people that need to hear them. Esther the 4th chapter the 14th verse reads as thus. For if thou all together yes. holdest thy peace at this time. Uh, Satan. Oh Satan use a liar. Oh Satan use a liar. All together at this time, then shall there enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who knows whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? Then Esther bade them. Return, Mordecai, this answer. Go gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan, and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink, three days, night or day. I also and my maiden will fast likewise, and so will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law. But you look at someone and tell them, she broke the law. She broke the law. And if I perish, I perish. Amen. I would like to use for talk tonight for such a time as this. You may be seeing it. <coughs> Here as I was going back over my life and searching the scriptures and giving God thanks and praise for the two night revival that has taken place here at Mount Zion and asking God, God will you give me a word uh, for the revival on tonight? And God began to speak to me and says, yes, I've already placed my word in your heart through the scripture. But yes, I will give you something to encourage my peoples with. My peoples are living in a day, a time, and an age where they need to be encouraged for such a time as this. What time are you talking about, Reverend Howard? No. I'm talking about a time where we have come to a place in our life well, most of us that has passed 50 years can say and be truthful that we look around and we find that we are in a new time with a new generation yes. and the world has been turned upside down yes, and we cannot hardly find peace, joy, 
happiness, not to even mention love, I'll nowhere. Go ahead. Yeah. Such a time as this. Time that families are being separated. Yes. Families are being torn apart. Lord Jesus. Don't know how or not willing to reach out to one another. Mm -hmm. I know for myself tonight because I have family members that I grew up with all of these years. Very seldom do we see our family folks unless we go into a family reunion yeah. or a home going service. Yeah. Families has been torn apart. Distance and time and lacking of love has come between family. For such a time as this, God, oh God, I thank God tonight for rising me up, bringing me up yeah. out of that horrible pit. I want somebody here tonight yeah. to know tonight that grief is time to stop yes. being judgmental. All right. We've got so many folks Lord Jesus. in the house of God that are sitting in the judgment seat. Yeah. We got the finger pointers. We got the false finders. Yes, sir. And don't forget the backbiters and the liars yeah. are sitting in the house, yeah. sitting right there. In the house of God. More than one reason why folks are falling That's right. away from the church. Yes. Because the thing that they see That's right. going on in the church, Lord Jesus. they say to themselves, Why should I go to church? Yep. Those folks in the church act worse than these folks out of the church. Amen. I'm glad tonight that God allowed me. To come by this revival because my soul needs to be revived. Yes, sir. I want somebody here tonight to know that if you're pointing your finger, the one that you're pointing, there's folk coming back to yes, you. Sir. If you're sitting in a judgment seat trying to judge somebody when you're not righteous, your own self, yes. you need to stop trying. To be judgmental. I'm glad tonight on, that I have this opportunity to come by Mount Zion and tell somebody for such a time as this, it is time yes, sir. for us to get it right. It's time to stop playing church. The Word of God said in 1 Peter, in the fourth chapter, in the 17th verse, the judgment mm -hmm. must be given All to right us. Now. Right. Yes, sir. Look around. Look around. And can't you see that the judgment has already been yes, sir. Yes, sir. in the house of God? Lord Jesus. The word of God said in 1 Peter 4 and 18, if the righteous has to make it in, where shall the ungodly and the sinner man appear? If you're not right tonight, uh, yes. here tonight, or in this revival, when you go home tonight, Paul said it best in the second Corinthians, in the 13th chapter, in the fifth verse, Paul said, examine yourself and see if you are in the place with God. That you ought to be. I'm tired of judgmental people trying to tell God of what to do, but refuse to do what God has commanded you to do. Even the wind and the wave obey God's voice. Man has turned his back on God. But I'm here tonight to tell somebody that man without God is nothing but God without man he's still God I'm sitting in the judgment seat I know when I came in or out of that darkness when God called me in I had been all over the United States of America pimping 
drugging, prostitution, all over the land. Huh? But one day, one day, God heard my mother's prayer. My mother did not raise me to be a pimp. Huh? But my mind got changed. I got on the wrong road with the wrong people doing the wrong things. And I could not get off of that road. That Saul on the road to Damascus, he was on the wrong road. He couldn't get off. But on his way up to Damascus, he had an experience with the Lord. And he never was the same no more. That same God that changed Saul, not only did he change the man, he changed the man's name. That same God, he changed me. Not only did he change me, he changed my name. Not Pippin Al, but Pastor Howard, Bishop Howard. And I'm glad about it tonight. But some folks that were sitting right there, even some of your family folks, they will sit right there, look you in the face, and tell somebody yes, he ain't real. I grew up with him. I remember when. I remember when he was like this. I remember when he was like that. I remember when he was a little boy. And he rode a broom for a horse. I remember for all of these things. But I want you to know tonight that the Word of God said in Hebrews, in the 8th chapter, in the 12th verse, the Scripture said, I have forgiven you for your sin and your iniquities. He said, and I do not remember them no more. So whatever you used to do, if you don't do it no more, don't worry yeah. about the folks that are standing up. around okay. still remembering. I remember when he was a pimp. I remember when he rode the broom for a horse. I remember when he was on drugs. I remember when he was in prison. Yeah. But do you know? Yeah. Do you know God, that the word of God said in Job in the 26th chapter, in the 7th verse, that God... He hung the earth or uh, mm. on nothing. Right, I want yes, you to sir. know yes, tonight sir. that when you look at me, I'm just a witness that God can take nothing and make yes, something. Yes, sir. Thank you, God. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Yes. Tonight, after this revival, if you never see Bishop Howard's face again, if you never hear my voice again, I want you to just remember whatever you are thinking about Bishop Howard's past, how he used to be, how he was, I want you to know tonight that when you meet God, Saul met him on the road mm -hmm. to Damascus. Yes. I met him in the drug house. But that was my, that was my Damascus road. Because it was a road of destruction. And if you're on the road of destruction, if you're moving on a fast train yeah. uh -huh. that don't have any brakes, <coughs> just know tonight before I go take my seat. Yeah. I didn't come here tonight, yeah. Sister Mildred, to play preacher. I didn't come here tonight with a feather in my ear to tickle yours. I came here tonight because of the grace of God. Because God's grace found me. I was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. I was dead, but now I'm alive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come by tonight. Just to tell somebody. Thank you, Lord. Maybe God didn't bring you out of the Egypt land. Maybe he didn't bring Ted out the bar house. Maybe he didn't bring you out of the whorehouse. But maybe, just maybe, 
He brought you out of another woman's husband's bed. Yeah. All right now, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank and you. And you could have laid down and never got up again. That's right. right. Yeah. My Lord. Great. You know where God brought you from. Amen. Amen. That's right. This That's is what right. I want you to remember. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. yeah, I have a word for you here tonight. Amen. Maybe you didn't come out of the drug house. Yes, Maybe you've never been in no jail house. Yes, But we all came out of sin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Almost the third chapter, yes, sir. the twenty-third verse, so that yes, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yes. Yeah. Is it the truth anyhow? Amen. Amen. It sure is. So quit sitting up in God's house. Yes. Point your finger. All right now. At this one. And find a fault with that one. Lord yes. Jesus. Stop sitting in God's judgment seat. Tell the truth. Yeah. Trying to judge God's people. Yes. Because Romans 2 and 11, the word said, God has no respect to person. That's, right. mm. That's what it's saying. I'm nothing but what God said. Yeah. That's what this revival is about. This is a real revival. Nothing but the word. I can't draw nobody. But the word of God can. And James 4 and 8 said, Draw nigh unto God. Mm. Uh, nothing but the word. And he'll draw nigh unto you. Yes, he will. All right now. Jeremiah said. Jeremiah 31 and 3 said. Oh, yes. With loving kindness have I drawn unto thee. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. Huh. I feel good down in my soul. I know that's right. Want you to know tonight. Someone is under the sound of my voice. Whatever you're going through. God said, tell my people that I'm still God. Amen. Yeah. Tell my people yeah. that if they is a backslider, yes, sir. tell my people, Bishop Howard, that Jeremiah 3 and 14 said that he's married to the backslider. To the backslider. Right. Yes, yeah. Stop sliding back. Don't go back. Yes, sir. And don't even look back. Yes, sir. I don't have nothing to go back to. All right, now. I was back living back in a world of sin and shame. Yeah. And I had everything that a poor man could have. I drove Rolls Royces. I didn't wear suits that you bought off the rack. I had my suit made according to my mind. I had all of those things that the world had to offer. All right. But no Christ. No life. no life. Amen. Can I get an amen in the hand? Amen. I feel good tonight, Brother T. Stop by my time to be a witness that God can take nothing. All right now. And make something yes, out. He yes, he can. Yes, he can. Be careful when you put your mouth on God's anointing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Say it again, Bishop. Say it again. Yes, sir. I said, be careful. Yes, sir. Every tongue that rises up Woo! in the judgment, God will yes! condemn you. Be careful what you say yes, sir. about God's people. That's right. Yes, That's right. Hello, somebody. Oh, okay. thank you, Jesus. Be very careful. Yes. Don't let your mouth get you in trouble with God. That's right. That's right. Because the words say, in Matthew, in the 20th chapter, in the 16th verse, the scripture said that many are called. And few are chosen. But thank you, Sister Son. Yes, sir. Yes. But few are chosen. That's yes, right. So the next time you see Bishop Power come and pass, and you get ready to say those little foul, nasty words out of your mouth, be careful. <laughs> be careful what you say about Bishop Howard because. Yeah. They tell me it was 